uh, sorry about today's stunt, guys. Jesus, I uh, seem to have got some kind of respiratory illness going on. I uh, probably shouldn't worry about it. Let's uh, let's go on to today's video. Sorry about that. And today, I want to get everyone's mind off of the mainstream media negativity, and I kind of just want to focus on the positive things, the things that really bring us together. And of course, I'm talking about making fun of other people's YouTube channels. And this has always been something I've wanted to talk about because I just find them so weird and that's family channels. And I think the reason that I find it to be so odd is that at service level, it seems pretty obvious that the parents are using their children as a spotlight to gain an audience and therefore their income. And call me crazy, but it seems kind of icky. Specifically, today we're gonna to be talking about the LeBrant fam. And right away, by looking at the videos, you'll see what I mean when I say using their kids for content. Surprising Everly with an ultimate backyard makeover. One-year-old Posey's first official gymnastics class. Then every once in a while, you'll get a serious one like our family is splitting up. I just wonder what they're gonna do when their kids get older and they start to lose that childlike charm. Are they just gonna have to keep pumping out babies in order to keep the business alive? I mean, it's not the worst idea. Yeah, Posey's first birthday, tax write off. Predicting our baby's gender, um, do you mean predicting future cash flow returns? But anyways, let's dive into your typical LeBrant fan video and see what they're all about. The first one I thought would be fun to look at is a video called, last family member to stop being a mermaid wins a thousand dollars, which, Honestly, is a great name for a video. Come on, let's roll. Uh -huh, let's do it. <laughs> okay, first thing that's very bizarre is that they have an intro for the family, very reminiscent of a sitcom from the early 90s. But for our purposes, it helps catch you up on who's in the LeBrant family. We have Cole the dad, Savannah the mom, their two daughters, Everly and Posey. And um, uh, you can't forget Carl, the dog, uh, but his character arc is a little touchy. All right, guys, what's up? I've been excited for this video for a while because, let's show them, guys. Back it up, man. Back, back it up, up, back, back it up, up, back it up, back it up, back it up. We're mermaids today! Woohoo! Doing the mermaid challenge, the last person to stop being so a mermaid wins. So don't lens. do the two-stepping cowboy. Uh, hey, we, we, don't, we don't want to copyright it. Okay, so! Hey! You will not get this family copyright strike again, Savannah. That's enough. So we're gonna be mermaids today. I think my favorite character of the LeBrant family is no doubt Cole, because he simultaneously has to lead the direction of the video while also being super exciting and engaging. <laughs> They're down. Okay, guys, so listen. <laughs> stand up and listen, I'm gonna explain the rules. I said stand up and listen. We're gonna have fun, okay? A lot of fun, but listen. You can't have fun if we don't listen. And this mermaid costume. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we are going to each write down, hey, I'll listen to you. And he just keeps doing it non-stop. Whenever his daughter is genuinely having fun, he shuts it down because he has a video to make. It's so jarring to see a dad immediately go from like, happy perky dad to Drill Sergeant Corey reporting for duty. Especially when you're dressed as a mermaid with your wife and daughter. Just have fun. Hey, um, editing gunner here. I accidentally tended to use Corey and Cole interchangeably. Um, his name is Cole. And uh, if you hear me say Corey, just know I mean Cole. I'm a professional YouTuber. They end up writing dares for each other to do when they're in the mermaid costume. And Corey goes first and he gets, do a basketball in the hoop 10 bowls. So he starts jumping all the way to the basketball court. But what, what is this? S Savannah's filming him so, so smoothly. Did she take off her mermaid costume already? No, no. Oh my god, this family has zero integrity. Cole makes his 10 basketball shots while Carl runs away for the eighth time in the distance, and we move on to our next challenge. Eat a mouthful of mustard. Because <laughs> it's, it's not even mermaid related, so I thought it would be funny. I get to squirt a whole mouthful of no, nasty mustard. I think I'm quitting. You're gonna quit? Yeah. You don't wanna eat a mouthful of mustard? No. You don't wanna win the challenge money? Out here. Okay, hey, look at the vlog and say I quit. It, it, so, that, so, so that is for sure. Hey, hey, right up here in the camera, say I'm a little loser and I'm too much of a crybaby to eat a mouthful of mustard. And I quit the competition. Go ahead, say it. Say it. So everybody's very on the fence about whether she wanted to do it, but she said yes. 
Yeah, that's totally the face of a girl that just said yes to eating a mouthful of mustard. Hell, slap that on a French's billboard ad. I'm sure the shelves will be clear tomorrow. And I can say that because it'll probably be true either way. So Cole pours way too much mustard in his daughter's mouth, who already wasn't really feeling the dare, and then she's immediately sad afterwards, and then he does this. So, because the dare said eat a spoonful or eat a mouthful of mustard and she didn't eat it, she's disqualified. Everly's a little upset though, guys. She's a little upset, a little but upset. we gotta stick to the rules of the game! That's right, he disqualified her. Like, you pressure her into it to begin with, and then you disqualify her when she actually does it. That's a low blow, Cole. It's a low blow. But, uh, anything for the thousand dollars, right? Of, uh, of your own money? So, afterwards, Cole sings a song in the pool, Savannah fails to jump forwards, and Cole emerges our champion. Let's go, Cole! Seven-year-old girl got smoked. Yeah, no mention of the money as expected, but, uh, the real friends were the money, the friends... The real money were the friends we made along the way. So anyways, what I really want to... <coughs> <coughs> oh, um, jeez. It's, uh, it's probably just a cold. I, I'm sure it's just a, I'm sure it's just a cold. So obviously the main point I wanted to illustrate here is the pure division of attention Cole has between filming the video and actually enjoying time with his family. What I didn't know is that that neglect actually extended to actual harm. So I forget exactly how I found this, but there's this petition online from about a year ago after their second daughter, Posey, was born, asking that their channel get taken down. It has 677 signers and goes, Over the last few weeks, Cole and Stav LeBrant of YouTube have been uploading content of their newborn baby that has created a huge cause for concern. One of the worst instances caught on camera was their YouTube video titled Everly Babysits Her Three-Week-Old Baby Sister All By Herself, showing their young daughter, Everly, being left alone for long periods of time with a three-week-old newborn infant. In the video, you can clearly see that she does not know how to support the baby's neck. So I took a look at the video and, uh, yeah, it, uh, it happens. <laughs> so we got the camera set up and we're getting out of here. So we don't really want everybody picking the baby up and walking around with her, so I'm we can kind of stay on the road. I'm, I'm too nervous. I didn't know what the baby was going to do. <laughs> Alright, we're getting out of here. Kids fucking lie. It's absurd to me that they thought it was a good idea to leave their seven year old alone with their newborn infant, but I know you want to see it, so here we go. <laughs> And that's just what they left in the video. They screamed that. <laughs> Alright, watch your sissy dance, because you're going to be a dancer like her, probably. <sighs> Only thing that baby's going to be is a bobblehead. So after all that, they come back into the room, and Cole congratulates her on not killing her sister, and rewards her one dollar. Okay, Ev, so because you did such a good job, here you go. What? You eat a whole dollar. And it happened again, right there. It, ju it just happened in front of his face. I Call Child Protection Services, call PETA, call the CDC. I don't care who you have to call. Get that child out of that other child's hands. Well, what was the point of this video? Um, I don't really know. If you couldn't tell, it's gotten pretty dark here since I started filming. I'm just pretty bored here in quarantine um, from, from that cold I have. Just, just a cold. I just think it's kind of nice to get your mind off of things sometimes, and for me, that's filming a YouTube video. Regardless, I don't want to think about Cole LeBrand anymore. His name reminds me too much of Kobe LeBrand, and that makes me more sad. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, uh, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'm new to this. I'm slow. Um, any support I get is very super appreciated because I'm a very super small channel. So uh, I hope you stick around and look forward to next week's stunt. Good day. <coughs> <coughs>